I press the power button here, nothing happens. There's nothing on the screen. So initially I don't know if this computer is actually working. And but when I plug in the power adapter, it lit lights on. And on the side you can check the battery. It's actually charging. And it went from one dot to five out of eight dots. Or nine dots. There are nine or eight or eight or nine dots. So anyway, the battery is charging. And now I'm going to show you how to turn it on without pressing the power button. There are two ways. First, you can see next to the uh, RAM slots, you have this cable connecting to the keyboard. And if you go f and place a short between pin 5 on my right side facing the camera, with pin 29, it will essentially connect the electrical path the same as the pressing the power button and you can turn it on. However, because the space is very small, I have a better method to turn on and off the computer. So what I do is look at the battery connector here, just have to flip it open. Okay, and just leave it, leave it off, especially if you're going to be doing troubleshooting, you can just leave it off without putting it back on. So you can use a power adapter and the uh, connector itself as a power switch. So here I'm connecting the adapter to the socket without the battery being connected. The light goes on, and the screen comes on too. And you can see it's actually booting. So the screen is good. You can see the display has no problem. And most likely, it's not a problem with the logic board or the motherboard. Uh, when I got this computer, the person who gave it to me wasn't sure what was the problem. And originally, Apple Store told him that you may need a new hard drive or even get a new motherboard, which costs about $900. But as we can see here, the display is functional. The power button is not functional, so likely the keyboard needs to be replaced together with the power button. But that will cost about $40, $50 plus labor. So if you cannot turn on off your MacBook Pro, you can use this method. Disconnect the battery and leave it disconnected and just use the uh, AC connector for the adapter to turn it on and off. So now I want to shut it off. I just remove the AC adapter.